Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm going to be helping you guys find out which Cordy Robovac is right for your needs. I did receive these products to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in any of the items that you see here, the links to them will be in my video description below. I also have full detailed and dedicated reviews on each of these vacuums you can check out on my channel. Now let's go ahead and look at the vacuums in more detail. First up you can see we have the R580 right here followed by the R750 and last but not least we have the L900. So you can see they all follow a very similar build pattern. They have their wheels and suspension right here. We have our omnidirectional wheel. We have our charging contacts, our cliff sensors. You can see they're all placed very similar to each other. We have our main brush right here. We have our dust bin. But you can see there are some differences. So the R750 and the R580 have a removable battery compartment right here. You can see if we have those screws, a Phillips head screwdriver. We do not have that option with the L900. We also have an on and off button with both of those where we do not have that with the L900 at the bottom. The L900 is a much larger RoboVac 2 compared to the form factor of the R750 and the R580. They're identical to each other in form factor. Same dustbin, same brush roller, that sort of thing. In regards to the L900, we got that larger dustbin and we have the larger main brush roller. Now let's go ahead, let's talk about some of the specs. So while these do look identical to each other on the bottom, we do have some differences. So the R580 is the most budget friendly option. It has a 2600 milliamp hour battery. The R750 increases in price point, but it has a 3200 milliamp hour battery. And the L900 is the most expensive out of three, and this has a 5200 milliamp hour battery. So looking at the top of the vacuums, you can see we have some differences as well. While these are both the same form factor and design, you can see our control buttons are different and our pattern up top is different, but they both have easy access to the dust bins that are identical to each other. Then you can see our design is different again for the L900. It's taller, it's larger, and it has LiDAR navigation instead of infrared internals in the front bumpers to navigate. So LiDAR is a superior technology and your smart vac is even smarter with LiDAR leading the way and giving you extra mapping features and functionality that you don't get with basic Wi-Fi vacuums. But they all connect via Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. They use the same mobile app, either the Cordy robot app or the Smart Life app, and they all work and integrate with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. You can use iOS and Android devices. We just get more advanced mapping features and functionality with the L900, which I highly recommend. I love LiDAR powered vacuums. It is the way to go. It's the future and you just have a much more enjoyable experience. But other than that, you can just see just the little design differences between the patterns. And again, we have this nice rose gold accent with the black covering our LiDAR module right there. So now let's go ahead. That leads us to the question, well, which one should I buy? Well, I'm glad you asked. So I can answer this question so many different ways. And honestly, depending on how I answer the question, I can point myself to all three of these. So to help you out, here's two things I want you to consider. One is we didn't look at any of the package accessories and they do come with different package accessories. What do I mean by that? Well, they're all capable and compatible with mopping attachments, but only one of them comes with the mopping attachments. So if that's important to you and you want that bundled in, then your choice is going to be the 7 50. You can get it with the 580 and the L900, but you do have to buy it separate. So they all work with mopping, but only one comes with it right out of the box. So if you're looking for a complete kit and the best value, it's going to be the 750. But as somebody that's reviewed a bunch of RoboVacs, I highly recommend LiDAR navigation. So I know this is more expensive than the first two, but it is totally a worthwhile upgrade. You're not wasting your money. You'll be very happy. You'll get a much better experience overall as it just processes and sees the environment better. So it gives you a better clean. It's consistent, it's logical, and it's constant. So it knows where it is and it's doing a great job and giving you that nice methodical clean. I cannot stress that enough. These two navigate differently with that infrared sensor. So it's just like a kid, you know, drew and scribbled on a coloring book. It's all over the place, it's nonsensical, and it doesn't necessarily know where it has cleaned and where it hasn't cleaned. So with that being said, it's just basically a run till the battery gets depleted and go home versus actually methodically tackling and cleaning your house. So 
Best value overall, the 750, because it's a complete kit and we get mopping access right away. But the best choice overall is still the L900, even though it costs more because of the LiDAR navigation. I'm telling you, it is so worthwhile. And in the future, you can also add the mopping accessory. And what's nice about this one, it's a two-in-one. So it's a dustbin collector and it mops. So you get both of those running at the same time. Whereas with these two backs, it's either or. Swap in the mop for the dustbin or vice versa. So I can't stress enough the importance of LiDAR. The larger battery too is nice, but best value is the middle ground right here with the 750 where you get the larger battery capacity over the 580. You get the mopping module right away, right out of the box, and you still get a great clean. Because again, they all have Wi-Fi, they're all smart, you can control them with your phone. So the answer is my favorite and preference is the L900. The best bang for your bucks, the 580 in the sense of just getting you into the robo game. I probably should have said bang for buck because that's really what the middle one is. But this is just the most affordable, you know, lowest barrier to entry with the 580. So that's why you should pick that one. But best bang for buck value overall is definitely the 750. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? And subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.